Hi, and welcome to this quick overview of the NetApp AltaFault Cloud Integrated Storage Appliance, the market leading solution for protecting data to public and private cloud storage. In this video, we'll show you that setting up an AltaFault appliance with Veeam is an easy three step process. The first step of deploying the AltaFault appliance is getting connected to the cloud provider. AltaFault works with a large selection of public and private cloud providers and encompasses over 90% of the cloud provider market. After logging into the appliance, we'll use the Cloud Settings Setup Wizard to connect to a cloud. You'll select your provider and provide the credentials and location to write the data that you'll send from AltaVault. Set the encryption key and apply the settings to perform the connection. AltaVault will connect and validate the connection. And once done, become ready for use. Second, we'll need to configure a SIFS or NFS interface for the backup infrastructure. We'll use SIFS in this example. From the GUI, we'll go to the SIFS configuration page. Since most environments within Veeam run within Active Directory configuration, let's set that up first. OK, once AltaVault is joined to the AD, let's add a SIFS share. Specify the name to share it as, and internally on AltaVault where data will be written. Then click Add Share. Finally, we'll need to assign privileges to the share for an AD group. Let's set that up now. Uh, there we go. At this point, AltaVault is now ready to accept backups. The third step is configuring the backup application to drive data to AltaVault. Veeam uses backup repositories to establish backup destinations, so let's go ahead and create one to AltaVault. Give it a name and a description, and we'll identify this as a shared folder. On the next page, let's enter in the SIF share that we created on AltaVault and establish the use of the credentials that exist and have access to that share. In this case, it'll be the administrator account, which is part of that domain admins group. Click to complete, and there we go. The backup target is now ready. With the setup complete, all that remains is to perform the actual backup. To finish this step, we'll set up a backup job in Veeam to point to this destination. First, let's identify the VM we'll backup. In this example, let's use this SQL server. We'll select the backup target as the AltaVault repository and establish a full plus incremental series for it. Since AltaVault performs variable length inline deduplication and compression, let's allow AltaVault to do that. We'll disable those options here within Veeam. There's lots of other options, but we'll only set the application aware processing option and the credentials needed to go along with that in VM. Okay, all done. Let's go ahead and start the backup. Since this operation is going to take a while, let's go ahead and speed things up so we can actually see the results of the data moving on to the AltaVault appliance. Now that the backup is running, let's switch over and look at the graphs of the operation. The first graph we'll review is the storage optimization graph. The blue line represents data received from Veeam, and the red graph represents optimized data stored by AltaVault. We can see that we're receiving data and deduplicating as shown in the difference between the blue and the red lines. The green line at bottom represents the deduplication ratio. Let's switch over to the front end graph. The front end graph shows that we're receiving data from the backup. And if we switch over to the back end graph, we can see that we're sending the optimized data out to the cloud storage provider. Moving to the replication pending graph, this shows you the pending data that AltaVault needs to trickle out to the cloud depending on your WAN connection speed. Finally, cloud operations show the number of operations communicated with the provider to get that data moved across over to the cloud. With that, this concludes the quick demo on using AltaVault with Veeam. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our page at www.netapp.com forward slash AltaVault.